How's it going, folks? We're Stash here. We're going to take a look today at a great way of working on internal and external hip rotation all in one. It's just a 9090 position lift off. So, 9090 position, we're going to go 9 degrees here, 90 degrees here. Um, what I'm going to begin with, the uh, position I'm going to start off with here, is I'm going to come down to that elbow and I'm going to get my elbow in line with my hips, my ear, my shoulder, my hip, my knee are all a nice straight line. One thing I got to think about as you're doing this is about the rib cage here. You want to think about the rib cage coming down, you're bracing, locking these things in place. We're going to begin with internal rotation here with this back leg. So I take a breath in, bring my rib cage down, brace, lock that thing in place, and watch this back leg. I'm going to keep my hips still. I'm going to internally rotate that leg as far as I can. Some of you may be laughing, that's not as much as maybe you can do, but don't worry, I'll get better. You're going to internally rotate as far as you can to get that foot above the knee. From there, again, I'm still watching here. I'm going to raise that leg up, raise that leg up, and then I'm going to externally rotate that leg coming back this way. This leg's going to stay here. I'm going to rotate, rotate foot as far as I can. I'm going to pause there. And I'm going to rotate, rotate, rotate. Get that foot back above the knee, and then bringing that thing on down. Now, are you going to feel some popping and some things moving around? Yeah, probably, because we're fully rotating that, that hip, that leg bone inside your hip joint as far as internally and externally rotating. As you get strong at this, you can build yourself up to where you're in more of an upright position from here. So if I'm from this position here, I can be sitting up nice and tall. Breath in, rib cage down, I'm nice and braced. I'm going to raise that thing up. Again, I don't want my body to fall forward. I brace, I raise that thing up. I'm trying to keep that foot above the knee as best I can. Uh, getting all the way to the front. And getting all the way to the back. Here's where I see people will cheat. I'll show you from this angle here so you can see a little bit better. Usually, once we get that leg up and we come up here, as I'm trying to get that foot past the knee to externally rotate, they get stuck, so then they pull their whole knee towards their chest. That's not the idea. Once you're up here and you're rotating, 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 think about your knee staying in line with your hip, and you gotta rotate from there. This line won't change. The foot will come further, further this way as you externally rotate, and then you rotate again through that same spot, that same axis, and bring that thing back in. Again, there's a great way to prep those hips for any kind of work you're doing, so you're doing internal and external rotation all in one. Enjoy. 